All right, now that our background is totally dry and our fingers are completely clean, let's talk about what we're gonna do next. We are going to work on a tree branch that our cute little sloth is gonna be hanging on. With my medium brush, it is now clean. It no longer has any paint on it. I'm going to use brown paint. And here's how we're gonna make our tree branch, is we are gonna start right here in the center of our picture, and we're gonna put a dot, okay? And then over here on this side, we're gonna put another dot directly across from it. Now the reason we're gonna do that is that our tree branch is going to be skinny at one side and bigger at the other. So over here on the right hand side, I'm gonna make a dot just above and just below. I mean, they are almost touching. But then over here on this side, I am going to put a dot really far up. So this one over here has two dots and they're pretty far apart and these are all nice and close. So I'm just gonna connect the top dot and the bottom dot. So now that I've got my top and bottom dot connected, I could just go ahead and paint those in. Paint those in. Perfect. Now that I've got those painted in, I'm going to add a little bit of detail to them. Smooth out those lines a little bit. Perfect. Now my sloth is also gonna be brown. I don't want him to be the same color as the tree. So I'm gonna actually add some low lights and highlights to my tree. To do that, I'm gonna grab some black paint on the bottom of my brush. I'm just gonna add a couple of black lines along the bottom of my, <laughs> that was my dog sneezing, sorry. <laughs> some black dots along the bottom, not too much. If you add too much, you're gonna get a very dark tree. I'm gonna wipe my brush off to get any excess black off of it. And then I'm just gonna pull those lines across. Pull those lines across to make sure that my tree has just a little bit of dark at the base of it. This is gonna be like our shadow on the bottom of our tree. Just kind of keep going over those lines to darken them up a little bit. I kind of went out of the line a little bit, so I'm just gonna extend the size of my branch. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Go over and over and over until that brown and that black are one color. Now at the top of my branch, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna grab a couple spots of white paint and I'm gonna put it at the top of my branch. Remember right here where it's a little bit thicker, I might wanna do two rows of it. Wipe my brush off to get all that extra white off and I'm gonna run my brush along that edge right there to make it look lighter. So what we've just done is we've just made our branch look like it has dimension. When somebody looks at our branch now, they're going to look at it as more of a rounded shape because the top is lighter, the middle is the same color, and the bottom is darker. Pretty easy peasy. I'm gonna rinse my brush off, and I'm gonna get ready to lay out where my sloth is going to go. And for that, I'm gonna use my medium brush, okay? And I'm gonna turn my canvas. I'm gonna turn my canvas so that the bigger space on my canvas is over here and the smaller is over here. So maybe yours is gonna turn that way, but you want your bigger space on the right-hand side because we are going to work on letters. And what we're gonna do is we are going to start this by making a letter D. So right here in the middle of our, our um, tree, I'm going to draw a straight line down with brown, and I'm going to make the letter D. You guys see how I just made that letter D right there? Made a letter D. Perfect. Now that is actually gonna be our sloth's back. So if I turn it back this way, my sloth is going to be hanging on the bottom of the tree with his little sloth arms wrapping around the tree. 
So right down here at the bottom of my D, I'm going to make a leg, and a leg looks like this. It's gonna start with a letter U, and that goes over part of my D, and it's going to go up and around. So do you see how I turn that into an oval? That is gonna be my sloth leg. Of course, he needs an arm too, the exact same thing, but this arm is actually going to start inside of my letter D and go up and around. It's gonna get smaller. So while this one stayed fat the whole time, this one got a little bit smaller. Well, that was easy peasy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to paint that in with a mixture of white and brown because sloths are a little bit of a lighter brown than my tree. So I'm gonna paint that in with about 50% white, 50% brown. I'm gonna paint in his legs, as well as his body. So the letter D and both of those ovals. So same light brown color. We don't want them to be the same color as the tree branch. He's gonna really come to life when we start to give him some fur texture. Fur texture is gonna be fun. Sloth. You know, a lot of times when you paint pictures, you can break them down into shapes like I do. A letter D, a couple of ovals, some triangles. Magically, you have yourself an animal. Now, our sloth head is not necessarily going to be round. Our sloth head is going to be a little bit more ovalish, and I'm going to use my round brush to do this. So grab some brown paint, and I'm going to make a round sloth head. I'm sorry, an oval sloth head. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of room over here, you could pretend like that's the arm and put it over there. So an oval sloth head. And I'm gonna again, paint it in with 50% brown, 50% white. Now our sloth is coming to life. We do want our sloth to dry a little bit before we add in his face details and our um, details in the background. So what I want you to do is wash your brushes off. Set your painting aside to dry and move on to part three when your sloth is nice and dry. I'll see you guys in a little bit, friends.